My name's Professor Coretta Phillips and I've spent much of my career looking at issues of race and the criminal justice system. The first research project that I worked on was an action research project. This was in the early 1990s and it was focused on trying to reduce the repeated racist victimisation of Bangladeshi and Somali families living on the housing estate in East London. And um, what that project taught me was that crime and being a victim of crime often occurs alongside lots of other vulnerabilities. Um, people that experience crime, chronic uh, victimisation often are also uh, vulnerable to inequalities related to poor housing, ill health, etc, etc. So we need to think about those experiences of crime in the context of other things that are happening in people's lives. I also learned from that project how challenging it is to deal with racism in complex organisations and institutions like the police and local authorities um, where there are multiple layers of uh, influence and responsibility. But I think um, optimistically, research can often shine a light on those kinds of issues. It can play a, potentially a powerful role in bringing those issues to attention and to think about possible solutions. My most recent research has been doing life history interviews with young black and Asian minority ethnic Londoners. And that research has been interested in understanding the ways in which their lives have been racialized, often in negative ways. And this is important because, of course, while we know that actually being discriminated against on the basis of your race is prohibited in equalities legislation, this research and indeed other studies have shown that despite this legal protection, discrimination and racism is still often a reality for people who are not from the white majority ethnic group. Whilst this research is important with black and Asian minority ethnic groups, there's been much less research focused on white minority ethnic groups, particularly gypsies and travellers. And my current research is trying to rectify this blind spot. So we can estimate that gypsies and travellers are about less than half a percent of the population, yet they're estimated to make up 5% of the prison population, and we need to understand why that's the case. I'm currently involved um, in a big research study with two colleagues at the University of Plymouth, Dr Zoe Jones and Dr Becky Taylor at UEA. And our research is going to provide a historical and contemporary perspective on the experiences of gypsies and travellers as they relate to crime and justice more generally. So when COVID restrictions are lifted, we'll be conducting a crime survey with 400 gypsies and travellers so that we can estimate their experiences of crime, both as victims of crimes like burglary, car theft, um, also to look at their victimisation from hate crimes that are focused on them because of their ethnicity, but also to try and estimate their offending rates. Up until now, we've been able to do that for the white majority ethnic group. We've been able to do it for uh, the black and Asian minority ethnic groups, but we haven't had this kind of um, data available for gypsies and travellers. So this research study that I'll be involved in from 2021 will be um, conducting a crime survey. There'll be oral histories with community members, um, with interviews by gypsies and travellers, also involving interviews with gypsy and traveller prisoners, those who are serving current prison sentences and who are on probation. And that study will also draw in archival materials. So we'll be able to say something about the, both the contemporary and the historical experiences of gypsies and travellers in England. So the aim of this research is to dispel many of the myths that 
that exist amongst members of the public, the media, and indeed amongst some politicians. But the research will also be important, I think, for allowing gypsies and travellers to talk about how experiences of racism and discrimination may have had an impact on their offending behaviour, may be able to tell us about how those experiences um, have contributed in, in relation to their pathways into offending. So I think the users uh, the people that will be interested in the research will include Gypsy and Traveller communities themselves. It will be of interest to um, those communities to help build trust and understanding and awareness of their experiences in society and to encourage them to feel that authorities and statutory agencies the public, politicians and the media are interested in their experiences of crime and justice. We'll also be targeting parliamentarians with our research findings, so we will be working with the all-party parliamentary group on Gypsies, Roma and Travellers um, to report our findings. And then we're also planning to work with a number of different Gypsy and Traveller creatives who will produce a variety of different multimedia outputs focusing on performance poetry, drama, fiction, art and photography as a way of um, presenting our research findings to a much wider audience. The reason that I decided to pursue this research was because I think criminologists in particular have tended to not focus on white minority ethnic groups, to um, pay attention to those of black and Asian minority ethnic groups, but to be less focused on other groups. And gypsies and travellers um, represent a group for whom there is considerable um, distrust, even uh, animosity, even hatred. Um, and yet we know very little about their experiences of crime and justice. And I feel that that's been one of the weaknesses of my research has been to focus on the larger minority ethnic groups and to not consider adequately the experiences of um, other smaller minority ethnic groups of which gypsies and travellers are a significant population given their interaction with the criminal justice system.